Yeah, so, um, gentlemen and ladies, I am here today to show you the Joko Road in Songwater. This is the Joko Road. Yeah, this road had been like this for several years. Yeah, this is Joko Road. You will see this section of the road, this side of the road, has been abandoned since Amosun was governor. Now, Amosun managed to fix one side of the road and all vehicles are sharing only one side. Since then, they abandoned it and they played politics. Then Amosu said if his candidate was re-elected, that his candidate would probably continue on the other side. That was, uh, that was the game they played. Unfortunately, his candidate did not win. And Dakwa Biodu, who won, has not come here to do any work since then, at least to my, own, to my knowledge, because if they are doing the work or if they are touched it since then, I do not expect to meet it this way again. Yeah. Now, if you look at the road very well, you would notice that it's already getting spoiled because all traffic, all vehicular traffic are only on one side. This is the typical situation in Ondo, Ogun State. The typical situation in Ogun State is that most of the roads, only one side works. The other side will be, conde will be left, will be condemned, will be abandoned. And the, other, the only one side will also soon start collapsing, like you can see. Okay, you can see. Already collapsing. All traffic are on only one side. Sometimes it results in heavy traffic and gridlock. I once got stuck here, I was once stuck here in the night. The traffic was so heavy. It came all the way from under bridge at Songo. And this is the situation. So if you look at this side to your right, it's supposed to also be fixed, but they have abandoned it. But if you look at this one now, it's also collapsing already. When they will come back, I do not know. But it doesn't look like that Kwabiodu knows or is interested as yet in this one. You can see it's already collapsing. Because all the chunk and bulk, I mean, bulk of loads are on it. Heavy duty freight trucks are on it. Look at this side. It has been abandoned. This side, this side has been abandoned. And that's the situation as we speak right now. This is Ijoko. Ijoko Road, Songwater. Ijoko Road, Songwater. This is the situation. Now, there is money because elections are around the corner. I, guess, I, mean, I mean, I'm not sure they will be able to come here even to at least fix the road and use it to campaign. But I don't think so. But there will be billions spent during the election. Billions. Billions. Now, this is a dry season. You can imagine when it rains, especially heavily rains. Imagine when it rains and it's heavily rains. Look at this place will be so flooded. You will not be able to walk on this path. You will not be able to walk on this path. And it's a highway. I mean, it's a highway. So you can see the roads. There will be billions spent during this election that is approaching. Unfortunately, it will not be for projects like this. Yeah. It will be for organizing carnivals, campaign, printing, uh, posters, paying advert agencies, but they will not come here. Or bribing, I don't know, bribing voters, electorates. You know their game anyway. So I'm not supposed to say this because it amounts to reminding you what you already know. But the money will never come here to fix things that will directly impact or make life comfortable or easier for people in the state. Now, I'm not here to say that Kwabiodun is good or bad. I'm not here to say Amosun was good or bad. I'm here to say this is the situation of the road. For the people, these um, governors have been governing. Now, I want to hope that by the time those who are picking, I mean, those who are picking 100 million era funds and, and so on and so forth, 
and spending, now we'll be spending billions for the electioneering. I want to hope at least that by the time they, they get back to office, they return, at least they can come and focus on this place and fix roads. And it is not only to be left, we are not only supposed to blame the governor or the government. The people too, most of the people who live in this area, uh, either IPC or PDP youth, they are not necessarily um, talking to their up levels in the party to at least make sure that government comes here to fix their roads. They are waiting for largesse during the election, that they will at least bring money for them, uh, or show free money to just come and spend. So, but all this look at the road everywhere. They, they already, they already turned it to open dump sites. Everywhere, open dump sites. Everywhere is open dump sites. The road is so dirty. The culvert has become dump site. The culvert has become dump site. The culvert has become dump site. So, we need to talk to our electorate too. Start telling your politicians you do not need their 10,000, 10, 10, 5,000. 5, you need the road to be good. If you are a tricycle operator, for instance, you know how much it costs you to maintain your tricycle every week, every month as a result of bad road. Or if you drive, you own a private car. Look at this now. That man swerves to avoid that, that portal. And in the course of it, sometimes they hit oncoming vehicles. A lot of times that happens. They will just come down from the vehicle, abuse each other, fight, and go home. The next day, they continue. So, there is need for government to return to these projects they have long abandoned and we are simply imploring our come back to Joko Road and fix this mess. Come back to Joko And it doesn't end there. If you go all the way down from where I'm coming from, you go all the way down there, you would already see that um, even I think this, it, it leads almost to, I think, Akuti Ajuan. In fact, it would have been the shortest route from, say, Ogun to Berger. Yeah. But because they have failed to fix it, whether deliberately or negligence or whatever you want to call it, but at least the situation speaks for itself. Rest is all you The thing speaks for itself. So now even the one the one side they are managing is already collapsing. So who will fix it? Gentlemen and ladies, my name is Shebola. I just said let me take you around uh, uh, through a trip. Just let me take you through a trip to Songo Water and show you another road called Joko Road. Thanks so much for joining me in this adventure. I'm going to see you another time.